Hi, I'm Ashton Lachlan, and I'm the author of this book, Big Bad Me, which is the story of two sisters. There's Evie Wilder, who does not know that she's a werewolf, and Kate Wilder, who does know that Evie's a werewolf and has spent her entire life protecting her. Um, Evie and Kate's mom goes missing, and Evie is attacked by something terrifying in the house, so the girls have to go on a road trip and find their mom, try and get away from the other monsters. Um, and it's a lot of supernatural fun. But today I wanted to talk to you about writing from different points of view. As I said, Big Bad Me is about Evie and it's about Kate. And both those girls get their own points of view in the story. So they both get to tell their own side of what's happening. And that was a lot of fun to do because they're very alike in that they're both very funny. They're both brave in different ways and clever in different ways. Um, they have a lot in common because they're sisters. They love each other. Uh, they enjoy the same sort of TV shows and make the same sort of pop culture references. Uh, but they're different as well. Um, Evie is very overprotected uh, because she's a werewolf. <laughs> She's the youngest as well, though, but she's a werewolf. So uh, people do not want her to get too stressed out or too unhappy because you don't necessarily want that to happen uh, with the wolf in your family. So she spent an awful lot of her life with her mom and her sister trying to take care of her and make sure that she's happy. And so that's been her experience of the world is that things usually go pretty well. Um, and she's a lot less cautious than Kate is. Um, Kate obviously has grown up with a monster. <laughs> So she's constantly quite stressed. And she's also used to looking after Evie and used to making sure that bad things don't really happen to her. Um, so she's very protective as well. And what was really important when I was writing their two points of view is that you could open the chapter. Uh, now, each chapter starts with Evie or it starts with Kate. But it was important to me that you could, you know, leave the book down, go away, come back to it. And maybe halfway through the chapter, you'd still know whose chapter you're reading based on the way that they sounded, um, which could be quite challenging. But it was also an awful lot of fun to do. Um, and it was great as well to see how the two characters experienced the world differently. Um, so they would experience similar things, the same thing. Uh, like, for example, this guy, Kevin, um, they both have very different opinions on him. And it was fun to see him through Evie's eyes. Evie quite likes Kevin. Um, but they get off on kind of a bad foot. They they don't get on very well at the start. And Evie forgives him for that. But Kate refuses. Kate is furious at Kevin for upsetting her little sister. And it takes a very long time for her to get past that and to start to trust him. So I got to see two different takes on Kevin. Um, we get to see two different takes on the town and the things that are happening there, the monsters. Um, and understanding both of their points of view was great, but it can be quite hard. And it's very important to me um, and to anyone writing multiple, multiple points of view that when you're writing your characters, you have a very good sense of their background and where they came from. Because as I said, that really does inform the person that they are and the way that they'll experience the world and their take on the people uh, that they meet and the experiences that they have. Um, so even having two funny characters, they can have two very different senses of humor. Evie is bouncy and quippy and makes very, very silly jokes off the cuff and Kate is drier and more sarcastic. And it was really, really fun um, to try and nail down those two different voices um, and a lot of fun to be able to explore sort of two sides of myself as well. Um, so I have a challenge for you. I said this was challenging. I have a challenge for you. If you go to the Little Island website and you go to the Big Bad Me page, you'll find a section that has an extract from Big Bad Me. It has the prologue, which is this bit. Uh, starts 15 and a half years earlier. And then you have chapter one, which is from Evie's point of view. Um, so what I want you to do is read the prologue, read chapter one, and then choose a character either from the prologue, um, where you've got 15 and a half years ago, so you've got baby Kate, um, <laughs> who's cute, um, you've got Evie and Kate's mom, you've got a few other characters, or from chapter one, where you've got Evie and you've got another character who she meets. Um, 
there and just tell that section from their point of view. But keep in mind where they're coming from, their take on us uh, will be different based on their experiences and these characters don't have an awful lot of page time so you can make up the backgrounds um decide who they are don't try to be too true to the book i just want you to play and uh come up with your own version of these chapters based on what I, what, what i've read and what your own imagination can come up with or you don't have to do big bad me um you can find any book that you have read and loved um just choose a chapter and tell it from the point of view of a different character, maybe your favorite character, side character who doesn't get that much to do. It is an awful lot of fun. It's a really good way to stretch your writing skills, to challenge yourself, and uh, also to tell uh, tell the story from a different angle and maybe come up with something new and original that you want to write yourself later and spin it off from that. That is what I did <laughs> with other stories that I've written. Um, and it's a really really fun way to do it so give it a shot and happy writing happy reading um and i hope someday i'll get to read something that you've written bye